Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a kind of haul video. A couple of weekends ago, I went to BlushCon or um, Asian American Expo, which BlushCon is a part of. Basically, Asian American Expo is just this giant exhibition where it focuses on the Asian culture and they've got um, just a bunch of foods, a bunch of different products. There's Anime Impulse, so there's lots of cosplay going on. There's Artist Alley where you can pick up some sick art and then there's blush con which is more about like beauty and skincare and stuff like that so i was able to attend this was my second year in attendance and thank you so much to blush con for inviting me i really had a wonderful time um and i'm excited to share with you the things that i got some things i got from participating in a scavenger hunt that blush con was hosting if you were um, invited you got to participate in the scavenger hunt and then some things i got just from walking around the floor walking around the exhibit and then some things I purchased um, and then I also have like a VIP swag bag so I'm gonna show you everything and try and tell you if I got it from walking on the floor or what it's from but basically I'm gonna start with my artwork that I got artist alley is probably one of my favorite places to check out when I go to this because I just love seeing different artwork I'm an artist myself and I love seeing the art that others create and so I actually picked up some art this year and I'm super excited about it so I'm a huge Audrey Hepburn fan. I have been for my entire life. I love her movies. When I was growing up, Charade was my absolute favorite movie. Then I watched Breakfast at Tiffany's and I'm in love with that movie. I've got a wall in my bedroom and it's like five pictures of Audrey Hepburn, five photographs, and they're just laid out and it's so beautiful. And then I have a couple that I've painted of her and I'm just, I think that she's phenomenal. So I picked up three different paintings or three different pieces of art of Audrey Hepburn and the artist is Kathleen Abalos and I will put her um, information down below but this is the first one I got this is from the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's she is holding her cat and it's just so beautiful and it's this nice large painting or picture so I'm excited for this I'm gonna get a frame for it and hang it up in my room I love it and then I did get two smaller ones also by the same artist um, and that is what these two are this is the first one I saw this one the first time um, or it was the first one that I saw this year I remembered this artist from last year and I fell in love with their artwork but this um, picture was the first one that stood out to me for this particular year and I'm just in love with the simplicity of it. I think that it's so beautiful and I'm excited to hang this one up as well. And then the last one that I received, or not received, the last one that I purchased, I'm sorry, is this one. It's more abstract. It's um, a screenshot or a picture from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Again, the reflection's not doing well for it, but it's so different than like this one. I just I love them both I love artwork I love supporting other artists and I'm excited to have those and to hang them up so that is the art that I purchased at Artist Alley moving on this is the very 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 large VIP um, swag bag and I have everything in here um, that I received from walking around on the floor too and participating in the scavenger hunt um, this is something that I received from participating in the scavenger hunt it's from Alicia Beauty and this is what the bag looks like and they are a skincare company and they're fairly new and they just gave me this sample of this charcoal mask that they have and when they were demonstrating it they said that it is warming so it warms up with touch and then it turns white and then you leave it on for a little bit and then you rinse it off so I've got about two uses in here is what they told me so I'm excited oh I almost dropped that on the floor I caught it um, I'm excited for this because I do love charcoal masks so very very interested in that um, I've got some Hot Cheetos from Picasso Lashes. Again, this is part of the scavenger hunt. And then um, they're just a lash brand and they were kind of partnered with Olisa Beauty and then also Collectin, who I talked about last year also. Um, let me see if I can find this box. So Collectin is like a jewelry subscription service. You pick out some pieces and you pay to keep um, basically and they gave me this little necklace this year 
that's what it looks like very pretty so i have those that was all part of the scavenger hunt um i'm gonna save these two things for last because i'm the most excited about them so i guess kind of moving on to everything else um that's in the bag this is a ginormous box and i understand now why influencers get so frustrated with pr and just the waste that it can create because i thought this might be like a mirror a makeup mirror that's the kind of box it looks like i opened it up this is what it looks like it's got a card it's got some thick foam in it and that is all that's inside now don't get me wrong i'm grateful for this i'm grateful to have this product however the packaging for something this small is absurd this much foam this much box for this this is a personal mister so you would just fill it with like water and then you push the little green button here and it mists you that's all it is i mean very cool it'd be very hydrating i can see it working really well if like you're going on a hike or something like that um keeping yourself cool in the summer i live in southern california it gets very very hot however the packaging is ridiculous so i understand i have a clearer vision of why influencers are always talking about the waste that comes with pr packages so i get it i understand now moving on i have some sheet masks from the brand Sa saborino i believe it is just some masks from them and then I've got some more masks actually I've got this one it's from Caribo it's CBD infused face mask I've got this one it's um precious elements 107 um, snow mask and then I've got this cool little pack it's a Bella and Bear Tro tropical travel pack it's got a shampoo inside a conditioner an ocean spray foaming salt scrub and a tropics face mask so everything is inside this handy dandy little pouch which is pretty cool i've got from machine moisture 100 virgin coconut oil daily hydration body wash love this brand have never tried this product but shea moisture is a really really nice brand i've got from good gummy beauty bunny vitamins for healthier hair skin and nails they're vegan and gluten free i have from move this, out of the way. this strange thing is a balanced food calorie mate block i don't really know it looks like something from like the 70s but i guess it's a nutritionally balanced source of energy for daily activities so that's interesting um i've got some samples some skin conditioner i've got three of those and the sweet was there and i have some gel foundation primers from them i've got some moisturizing foundation primers from paul and joe they were also there i've got rules of mastic too cool for school recovery facial balm i don't even know where this came from i don't remember getting that at all um i've got this this is a sheet mask as well i've got some perfumes from anna sui um it's in the scent fantasia cute packaging i also have from them a nail color in n001 it's really just like a whitish shade but the packaging is pretty um i have from paul and joe i have a eye color so an eyeshadow and the packaging is so cute i feel like my friend caitlin would love it she loves cats and this is what it looks like inside it's got a mirror and then it's just like a purpley shade and a shimmery white shade so that's cute And then I have um, plants, plant antioxidants, A, B, C, D, E, eye cream, restorative and collagen boosting. 
I have from Rock Chic. It's a Rebel Revolution Matte Lip Color in Sainty. And this is what it looks like. It looks like a mascara, but it's a lip color. I also have another product from Plantioxidants. It's the Power Seed Menagerie Oil. And then um, Pop Beauty, they were putting on a little presentation and my friend Carla who works for Pop Beauty, she was there and I got to talk to her and it's always a delight to see her and it made me really, really happy because I had no idea she was going to be there. But they were putting on a presentation and anyone who was watching the presentation got a little gift bag from them. So I got some products and I have the Pop Pout on point lip liner in kinky pink. I have one in the shade Tawny, I believe, and I actually wore it to the event, which was kind of funny. And then I also have their permanent pout matte lip paint in basic B. So those are really nice. I love Pop Beauty. I think that they make really, really nice stuff. Um, I have these lashes from Model Rock. They're in the style pick and mix. And then I have from Four, it's a lip balm. It's never tested on animals, it says. That's what it looks like. It's just a little lip balm. Um, moving on, I've got a couple of things left in the bag. I have, again, from Pop Beauty. This is one of their Prismatic Pop Illuminating Powders. These are a liquid formula, which they then press in through the bottom of the compact and it makes this nice powdery finish. It's really nice, it's very hydrating. I also have from Wet n Wild, it's their Mega Cushion Color Corrector. I've heard good things about this. This is in peach. And then from Model Rock, also I have this sponge. I was able to choose a sponge and I liked the color of this one and the shape is unique. I don't have anything like it, so I chose that one. And then two brands that I was able to connect with, or no, actually, I'm sorry, three brands that I was able to connect with on Instagram. I was following the BlushCon stories and they were posting about the different brands that were gonna be there. And I connected with these three brands. Their products seemed interesting and I reached out to them and I was able to meet up with them at the event and I'm very, very excited. So the first thing is from Reveal You Skincare and it's a face and body gel. And what's really interesting is that these are like water-based formulas, but they are infused with different ions, like silver ions, gold ions, and it's really, really moisturizing without having anything harsh in it. There's no parabens, no chemicals, anything like that. It's just spring water and then whatever they've infused it with. So this one is spring water, TOA, carbomere, Platinum, gold, silver, copper, magnesium, and zinc. They're alcohol-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, oil-free, cruelty-free, and made in the USA. And then they were also giving out this one to influencers. So this is the Face and Body Gold CBD. Um, and I was talking to them about this one because I have a very bad shoulder. My left shoulder, I injured it a few years ago while I was at work. I caught a child who decided that they wanted to jump off the top of a climbing structure and just like reflex. I caught her and it was like a whiplash and it's been a really bad injury since. Um, and now that I'm working in the cold, that irritates it a lot more and it's just been very very painful and she said that rubbing this on it would do wonders for it so I might try that out but I do have those and I'm excited for them um, they have a bunch of different products and they've got like charcoal ones and different things like that so I recommend checking them out I'm excited for it I really liked the sample um, trying it out there and hearing more about the company and then I also have from this brand called blush lips this is super cool. Um, they gifted me this. This is their blush lip set. So this little toothbrush looking thing. It's a silicone brush and it's for exfoliating your lips. Now, like I just said, I work up in the cold and extreme changes in temperature can really um, make your the skin on your lips go crazy and really dry them out and leave them chapped. And I feel like I'm always trying to like wipe off the dead skin and it never fully does it. Now, that was really the, the reason why I reached out to this brand because I cannot stand having dry lips. I always have to have something on them. It, I've always been that way. And I reached out to them and I learned more about their company and more about their products. And basically, this is a dual-sided silicone brush. So this side, you can see it's got really fine bristles. And this side, it's got a little bit bigger bristles. So you have a lip scrub and they have like... 12 different kinds to choose from. I chose watermelon 
because I just loved how it smelled. Let me see if I can get this open now. So you, you have your lip scrub and what you do, and that's what it looks like. It's a nice, nice big one. It's going to last you a long time. You would dip it in. You would, well, you would take this off and then you would dip it into the scrub and then you just scrub your lips and it's got sugars and oils and it leaves your lips feeling very soft. So then you would rinse it off, wipe it off, and then you have your lip balm. And again, they've got different scents. I believe they've got like eight different ones for this. And I chose tea berry mint. It smells amazing. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit smaller, but you still get a lot. Again, you just take this little stopper off. You would dip into it and then you would just apply that to your lips. And the reason why you would kind of buff that into your lips is so that it really penetrates through the skin on your lips and really seeps in deep. So you're buffing away all of the dead skin with the sugar scrub and then you're adding moisture back in with the lip balm and buffing it in. So it's a really, really cool concept and I've tried it and it works amazing. I've done it once and I have not had dry lips since. So super cool definitely recommend love it maybe i'll do a giveaway with them in the future we'll see fingers crossed and then the last product i have is from dop now this is not a makeup brand but it is kind of like technology and i love technology so i'm very excited about this so basically let me find my phone so it works with a pop socket or they have this little ring that they include in here and it it's bendable like this part sticks to your phone and then you've got the ring that you can move around and manipulate and then what you do is you have the little dop right here and it's in this little case and it's actually microfiber so it, it cleans your areas too where you want to um, use this and then it's got this big suction on the back and then you would twist and it releases the suction. So let me let me do it on the box actually. Okay, so putting it on, twisting it, locking it into place. Hold on, give me one sec. It's hard to do in one hand. Okay, so we've got the box. Pushing it down, twist, twist, lock it into place. It's secure, it's not going anywhere then you can do it with your pop socket or with the ring. Um, you just kind of slide this in. The pop socket, so it's a little bit difficult because it's got those little edges on the side, um, but you just stick it in and then you can move it around. So I use this while I was cooking. I stuck it on my cupboard. You can obviously stick it on your bathroom mirror. It's non-adhesive, so it's not gonna leave a mark or anything like that. It's just a suction. And then to take it off, you would just twist and it releases a voila magic super cool and i'm very excited about it i really really like it um this company has only been around for a month or just over a month and i think that it's such an innovative simple but incredible product and you know it would work really good for people who are trying to do makeup tutorials for instagram um you can watch stuff while you're cooking it's just very very useful and i really like that so super excited for that but this is everything that I received from BlushCon. Thank you again so much, BlushCon. You guys are amazing. And I appreciate you bringing me along and inviting me to attend and for letting me participate in the scavenger hunt and for giving me the gift bag. Thank you so much to all the different brands. I really appreciate it. And especially to Reveal You, Blush Lips, and Dop, or The Dop. Thank you so much for telling me more about your products and, you know, trying to... Um, teach me about them and hopefully we can work together in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys. If a picture's worth a thousand words, I'll paint an invitation to let you in.